Hello, my Feng Shui family. It's a brand new year and I'm here in beautiful Paris, France. I'm sure my recent move has surprised a lot of you, but those of you who are familiar with my life's journey are probably not too shocked. Many people have asked me, why did I choose Paris? My story started over 30 years ago. And if you're interested in learning how this can relate to your own heating of your life's path, keep watching. I'm Susan Chan, Certified Feng Shui Consultant, helping you create a beautiful and intentional space and a beautiful intentional life. Leaving my comfort zone in New York City to create a European branch of my business, Feng Shui Creative, was not easy. It wasn't just a professional leap, it was profound personal transformation. Once I decided to take this big step, I knew immediately that Paris was where I was headed. Picture 13-year-old Susan watching Truffaut movies like Stolen Kisses, Breathless, and The 400 Blows, and dreaming of moving to Paris. I was further hooked after taking French lessons, a short trip when I was 16 years old, and countless other French movies. In 1991, a long time ago I know, I participated in my university's Paris exchange program, and that sealed the deal. At the end of my Parisian séjour, I returned to New York City a completely changed person, and I knew that one day I would return to Paris. Talk about being fully aware of the energy, accepting it, and following it. When people don't know what feng shui is, I use this example. You know when you walk into the room and you know immediately if the energy feels off and you want to leave or if the energy feels great and you just want to stay? Paris is that beautiful room for me. Now I'm not suggesting that you move countries like I did. You can follow your energy much more locally. Your turn. Where in your home feels great or feels off? When are you joyful or feeling down? It's important to pay attention to those moments. We're usually moving through life at breakneck speed and don't take the time to notice. Life moves fast and it's easy to overlook these cues. Notice how you feel, how you breathe, the things that you say to yourself in these moments. Because all of this info will tell you if you're in alignment with your energy or not. It's just up to you to listen. I've experienced how misaligned energy can lead to mental, emotional, and physical illness. Here's an exercise to help you gauge how aligned your energy and life is. Start with your health. Pay attention to any emotional, mental, or physical concerns you have. What makes it better or worse? Then look around your environment. Identify what you love or what you can't stand in your space. And here is maybe the hardest part evaluate your relationships. Do they bring you joy or do they bring you conflict? Don't worry, you don't have to cut anyone out of your life, but taking inventory will allow you to see what the next steps are. Where you have discomfort in your home or life is where you have energy blockages. Do you need help figuring out what your environments, both internal and external, are telling you? Do you feel stuck and need help clearing these blockages? If so, get in touch today. I have some firsthand experience. And would you like to know more about my experience in Paris in 1991? Let me know in the comments. I'm happy to share. Did you like this video? If so, subscribe and click the bell to get alerts for when I publish new videos about living an intentional feng shui life. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury but a necessity. See you soon.